Okay, everything's up and running. Welcome everyone, I'm Dollar Free. Oh, Fallout 4, please, why do you spite me like this? Let's just dive right into things. Okay, so Fallout 4 has been getting a little problematic. Okay, okay, I don't mean problematic is in terms of crashes or bugs or anything like that. But there's just, as, as we try to do things that don't really get well explained, despite the fact that this game is like eight years old now, at least seven years old. Actually, probably more like eight years old. Hold on, am I currently... Yeah, I am. So... Yeah, so as we try to do things that are like eight years old, that aren't very well explained by, you know, wikis or other online videos or anything like that, I think, I think that's going to be kind of frustrating. Like this whole, this whole trying to get forbidden knowledge up and running for the Institute. And I can't, for the life of me, seem to find out why that's going to be the case. Sorry, just a moment. All right, thank you. All right. Now, what can we do in the meanwhile? Oh, hold on. Yeah, so we've learned we can't do anything with Echo Lake Lumber, so we'll skip Echo Lake Lumber, because we can't open the door. So the thing that we're having an issue with, or at least I'm having an issue with, is I can't figure out why Forbidden Knowledge won't start. Oh, it's a crab oak. Excuse me. Let me get onto the road. Oh, bros, flying. Yeah. I can't see him in all this foliage. There we are. Now, where's Crabbo gone? Ooh. It was funny just seeing the crab go flying. Alright, well, let's not worry too much about that. Hmm. 
Now, ammo-wise, we're still alright. One angler. Ah, oh, I think I'm done for. Ah, oh, yep, completely done for. Well, at least that one was relatively quick. Yeah, I don't think I was going to have a good chance of that one just because I got crippled on the first hit. Come on. Come on, game, please. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Dog meat, where are you? Hey. Alright, let's not worry about what dog meat's found. Uh, sometimes he'll just go off on a wild goose chase. got stuff up here right away all right Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's twice now. Alright, um, that was probably also my own fault, just because I should have waited a little bit longer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have to admit, traveling in the, the night time like this makes it... Hold on, doggy. Dog meat! Yeah, traveling in the night time is really tough because I can't spot the trappers very well. Which is frustrating because 
Especially when I'm getting to that tackle shot. Oh! Ow. Uh, what were you guys all hiding up here for? Alright, well, that's not really worth it, but... Ah, uh, this is the one that I was looking at last time. Yeah, this is the one. Now, I'm going to go by the road. Not sure why. Unless the trappers deliberately spawn in. That's my guess. The trappers must spawn in when you go into the bait and tackle shop. Dog me, help me. Thank you. Alright, that worked a little bit better. Ah, oh, this time you're armed with a combat rifle, not a shotgun. I don't think that's going to have any ammo. No, it's not. All right. Well. Time to make our way past top to the anglers again. Alright. Revenge. Shall be mine.
Ah, missed. Done. Alright, peckish from lack of food. What do I have to eat? Well, I do need to cook. There we are. Oh, actually, also, doggy. Hey. Oh, wait, I'm out of missiles. I'm actually straight up out of missiles now. Oh, all right. All of that. And it's a junkie's lead pipe. I would take junkies on a nicer weapon, but obviously that's not going to happen. What do we have? Okay, nothing up this way. I remember... Now what? Oh, this is an attack dog. Thank you. Can't open that up. What a shame. Can't open that up either. Although I am seeing that there is... Hold on. I want to go back and get the... No, 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 no. Oh, oh thank goodness. Alright, cooking station. Okay, so we use wolf ribs and lure meats. Oh, sorry. Wolf ribs and uh, wolf meat and lure ribs. Oh god, oh, they're words. 
wolf meat and lure weed to make wolf ribs. Which we have. Oh, please, with the mines. Who who does all of this with the mines? All right, so the night vision's actually kind of nice. We have to go down here. Better eat something as well, because that's not great. Where's my, um, Brahmin? The cooked Brahmin. There we are. Oh. Right, got to run around. Running really low on shotgun ammo. Really, really low now. But we should be clear. Yeah, it should be clear to go to that. So this is Dima's cache, which has the nuclear launch keys. No, sorry, the wind turbine code. Now, now our next location is approximately around Rayburn Point, if I recall correctly. So, we're checking Rayburn Point because one of the locations that we can supposedly meet mostly is, I think, somewhere around Rayburn Point? I don't know. I actually do not know. Alright, 
We've checked that. Okay. So let's get back to the, the mainland. Uh, so to speak. Pulse grenade right away is nice, but... Alright, I think the night vision's worn off. So here's Rayburn Point. Hit in the head. Done. Your heart beating outsider. How much can it take? Whereabouts are you? One, two... <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Alright, so we know there's someone shooting. We know there's someone shooting at us from over sort of the far side of Rayburn Point. Like down that way. I don't mind playing this ranged battle. Alrighty. Let's see what we're dealing with down here. Why were they so insistent on using a shotgun?
file. Not sure why. Wasn't that great of a weapon. Oh, you had a double barrel. That's why. Oh. Alright, so there's not much else that's happening around here. Nope, that's just the end of the pier. And I think that's Rayburn Point. Cleared out. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to try doing this whole Google thing again. Yeah, okay, okay. I am not sure what is going on. Fallout 4, Forbidden Knowledge Won't Start. Ah, uh, I think I know what's going on. We'll go next stop to Vimpop Factory. Yeah, you know what? We'll just move on. I think what the thing that I'm missing here... What the thing I'm missing is... So there's a Reddit post uh, implying or stating that... I need to confront Dima about his memories first before I can actually uh, inform Dr. Mosley. Alright, let's... Hold on. Good to see you again. So, the current situation. The relay has been modified to reach this far, but it's taking an awful lot of power. Even with the reactor online, it takes a while to build up enough juice to activate the relay. But we should be ready to go. Just waiting on your order, sir. Oh, there we are. Let's do it. It's time. We need to move on Acadia now. Right. We'll get the relay fired up then. There we go. Okay, so this is what it is. You have to come to here to find... You have to come here to find uh, William Mosley. Alright, let's make our way back then to Far Harbor. 
Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skill. <clears throat> Nothing to report, sir. Alright, these guys will start teleporting in. Hi. Let's just focus on the task at hand. All systems nominal. Alright, we'll go up the road then. Yeah, I think they'll make their own way. They'll make their way over to Arcadia. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Far Harbor, restock on ammunition, including missiles and shotgun ammo, and also bottled water. Yeah, we'll go up north and we'll just cross over the water here and then go back towards... Yeah, back up towards, like, Eden Meadows Cinema, and then across the north side of the island. Well, at least I'm hoping Far Harbor has uh, bottled water for sale. I do have one more up my sleeve. I can do this. And then I can also actually maybe grab a second bottled, uh, second purified water. Just by grabbing empty bottles around here. Any chance? No, I think that's... I think that's going to be it. Unfortunately. That was actually a jump a jump scare. Oi oi oi. And I sorry, I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit off today. I am a little yeah, a little bit tired. A little bit tired on the throat. How far do we need to keep going? Oh. Now I have to redo all of that. Damn it. Now I have to redo all of that. Alright. Alright. Let's just... Well, at least we know we don't have to try and get we don't have to try and get uh, Dima's cash. No. Yeah, so where do we need to go? We actually just need to go here. So what we'll do is we'll go past Echo Lake Lumber and then we'll go this way, so we'll skip Rayburn Point. Yeah, so we'll go this way, get to the road. Yeah, 
Never even noticed the medics on the floor. Yeah, you can see the little crab are just hiding out in the... Buddy. Okay. Oh, excuse me. That was not me. I promise that was not me. All right, we'll go south. And that's Echo Lake Lumber, but we'll keep going. So we'll follow the road around. By the way. Yeah, we'll follow this road. Hearing gunfire. Trappers or super mutants? By the way, it's too. Sorry, where is the one? Because you're a skirmisher, you've only got the frag board. Fragmentation grenade and the board. But I'm seeing a short... A short assault rifle. Here we are. Oh. Ew. Still... Like, I can't even use it. I have Knuckles, but I can't even use that because it's a bad legendary effect for what I can do. Oh, we've got to go the other way. Got to go west. Alright. 
Alright, that's actually got some value. That's got some value to it. Yeah, we need to go there. I'll take some five millimeter rounds. Here we are. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Hi. Ah, good to see you again. So, the current situation, even with the re but it's let's time. do it. We need to move on it. Right. We'll Forbidden knowledge. Sir. Alright, so we'll go back across the water where we came from. I don't know what blight does. It's obviously an ingredient for cooking, but I'll admit, I have never really experimented with any of the Far Harbor recipes or the Nuclear World recipes, aside from what's the basics. Oh, hold on, radiation. And there we go. Now I've got to get up. Here we are. Beautiful. Alright, so if we keep going straight... There we are. found dog meat we'll grab these guys uh gamma guns i tell you what yeah i'm loving the rad resistance on the armor but they're all right they've got some value to them the gamma guns that is Alright, we'll go this way. Where? Are you okay there, sir? Okay. Yeah. Wrong place, outsider. Thank you, dog mate. Who's shooting at me? Oh my goodness.
Who else? Who else is... Okay. Because I haven't accounted for the mini nuke. So whoever had that fat man... Not sure. <laughs> uh, 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 pull back, pull back, pull back. Over here. I don't know what the gun is, but it's it's like really, really good. This is tricky. Sorry, I'm just trying to think how I'm going to approach this. Because I'm... Right, it's a glowing Yaogwai as well. Dead. Dead. Oh, that got really messy there at the end. Oh, goodness. Alright. All right, let's update the death counter. One and two. Oh.
We'll pick up the empty bottles. Three, okay. Four. So the best way to go then is going to have to be via Rayburn Point. Uh, this It's probably the safest way. There's just too many random things that we have to deal with here. See, he doesn't spawn in here. Mr. Krabs, I'm trying to help you out here. And he turns around and love taps me and just goes, yeah, no, buddy. I got this. Listen, Mr. Krabs, I've seen you flying far more from physics than anything. Alright, death counter updated again. One, two, three, four. That's it for the bottles. Now we go west. Jeez Louise, they're both here. Mr. Krabs, no, please, Mr. Krabs, no. Dog me, please step out of the... Dog me. Please. Thank you. Ah. Bottle's part of the scenery. Fine. Is that ten milli? Let me just check the map. Yes, yeah, so if we go this way, yeah, because I had to go down south to try and avoid 
uh, to try and get back on land, which was a problem because then I ran into the trappers and one of them, I still don't know what it was. Were you like a super powered rifle that was dealing like... Get there, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. All right. Just give me a moment. All right, death counter. Next, bottles, three, four. Oh, the tent's actually got stuff in it. You know what, dog meat? Nice work, nice work, dog meat. Again, emotional support dog coming in clutch. All right, we'll go here. One, two, three, four. Sorry, just a moment. Thank you. I just had to check. I had a uh, another program open on my computer, and I was like, "All right, yeah, that's fine." Ah, no, 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 no. Come on, I can't hit this thing. Dog meat, no. <laughs> All right, dog meat, let's go.
Okay. That's... Let's not try to get that bottle, shall we? Go for one, two... Done. Yeah, not this time, Anglos. Not this time. We'll go this way. Yep, and now we'll cross over. So we'll cross over here, and then we'll follow the path down. I'm happy with that. Oh, okay, yeah. Not great, but, you know, value. We can sell it. have to eat we have the cheese doggo No, 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 no. Back up, back up. <sighs> Don't get stuck on the terrain, please, please. Two, three, four, five. Six. 
Dog meat, where are you? Yeah, but I can't open it, dog meat. There we are. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, too many mines. Too many mines. Can I? Oh, I can't even open that steamer trunk. Oh, jeez, Louise. Night vision calibrated powerful combat sniper rifle. Yeah, that would be about right, wouldn't it? All right, we're going south. We're staying clear of Rayburn Point. This time we're just playing it safe. Playing the route safe. No, no funny twists, no funny turns. We know where we need to go and we know where we can go to get back to Far Harbor. Good to see you again. So, the current situation. Uh-huh. We should be... Uh-huh. It's time. We... Right. All right. Yep. Okay, now we follow the road back up again. We might actually be able to do it this time. For a second there, I thought that was another Mr. Krabs. Like, for a genuine second, I thought... Oh, it's turned into a Mr. Crab. Into a Mr. Crabs. And it's now... And now it's going to, you know, spit crabs out and... Uh. Alright, I'm getting... I'm getting paranoid. Oh, see? Please! Too many mines. Too many mines. Alright, we cross here. Go around the boat. There's the dead 
anglers. So now we know we're on the right, the right track. Keep going. Don't worry about Sanctuary Hills. We don't care. That's the bait and tackle shop. And then... Alright, we can actually make it. We can actually make it. Back onto the road. So we go from here, we'll go northeast up to Eden Meadow Cinemas. Yeah, this is the campsite where we were. Alright, good progress. Eden Meadows, which we know it's clear because we've cleared it out. Hold on, grab the bottle. Alright, so we go onto the road. And follow the road up. And we'll take the next bright on the main road. I, you know, I'm looking at this from like last week and I go, I don't even remember what I did during this part because it's just like, there was so much live, die, repeat over and over and over. All right, we take the left on the next uh, intersection, which is this one here. All right, a red rocket. All right, now we follow this road along and we take any junction that's a splits, we take the right path. So we go right from here. National Park HQ. No, it's not. Oh, I forgot to reload. Didn't I? Did I just like quick switch reload?
Now there was a guy up here somewhere. Or were they... No, they must have despawned, because we did take out someone up here. Nicely done, dog meat. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Why is it a never ending point four four? I'll not go around. Over here. Ah! Okay. We're good to go. Hold on, I don't want that. Yeah, Bar Harbor seems to rely, it seems to really rely on like jump scares and spawning enemies in, and it's like. Come on, is this really, really how we're going to do things? Like the trappers who don't spawn in until you go into the inside of the bait and tackle shop. And now when you go around the outside here, you hear the beeping of the, of the suicider and it's like... <sighs> Surely... Hold on. Gotta get ourselves back on a road. Here we go. Alright, now we go... This way. Yeah, so this is the hotel. And we just start cutting east. By the way, I should. 
Oh, I have my level up. Yeah, I can put it into science and then I can put it into gun nut. That's right. Have I cleared out? Yeah, I've cleared out National Yard. Alright, going east again. I don't know where Doggy Dog's at, but I'll find out. I, if I have to go into... I know, if I can't find dog meat, I'll go to Longbottom's... Uh, Longbottom's... Longfellow's cabin. Just there anyway. We go north. So I think we have to swim. Not ideal, but... Ah, oh, there's a bit of walking we can do here. No, 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 listen, I'm just cooking. Keep saying to myself I should settle down someday. I think I missed the boat on that one. We heading out? Hold on. I'm just going to store my heavy weapons. Where is the BFG? Perfect. That's right. Let's get going. After you then. Send dog meat to here. Now, I'm just gonna wait for dog meat to arrive and then when dog meat arrives, then we're all good. Oh, by the way, I should. Do you have a bed here? That one. Can I borrow your bed for a second? Now, I just want to see if I can build Hmm, I could try for a bell Terminals So generators, miscellaneous, hmm, 
Whiskey's running low. Better find some more, and soon. Okay. Now we obviously can't scrap these barriers, but what we can do is we should be able to dog meat is somewhere uh, if dog meat's not here um i'm gonna hey yeah um hey got a sec you need something it's time for us to part ways come find me if you need me again and i'll be ready might even be sober too <laughs> Yeah, you can just stay here. Alright. I'm going to go to... Arcadian Ideals. And then try coming back and seeing if Dog Meets... Uh, decided he's going to appear again. And if... Dog meat doesn't, then I'm going to have to run back all the way, and I mean all the way, back to the National Yard HQ and see if dog meat is still hanging around there for some reason. Stuff. Show me what you got. You got it. All right, let's spending spree. Out, out, out. Yes, clear all of this. Do you have missiles? You do. I'll take three shotgun ammo. Weapons, cryo mine, the frag grenades. The nuke mines. The sledge. The armor. And the camps. What else can I possibly sell? We'll sell the standard barrel. We're good to go. Alright. Now we'll follow the mountain trail. And we'll go to Arcadia. Or Arcadia. Ugh. 
one of the two. So we go past this way. Alright, how was it? We go past the boat. And we start going up here. Take a little shortcut up here. And there we go. Markings are coming along nicely. What's that noise? Huh? Got company. Uh, am I supposed to have synth back up for this? Hold on. And are they supposed to explode? How many bullets I got left? Shit. Oh yes. Here we are. Synth back up. Hey there. Let's just focus on the task at hand. All right, one. You're going to go in. Well, I guess I'm going in then. Time to start firing. Alright, who else is left?
Oh, yeah, no. You're gone. Uh, listen, listen. Kasumi, we tried to tell you. Don't hang around. This place is going to go. But no, no, no. You had to insist on hanging around. Oh, I just got shot by someone. Alright, who's downstairs? Done. I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. Well, that about wraps things up, doesn't it? They should be ready to receive this bunch back at the Institute. It looks like they can be salvaged, thankfully. Odds are, most of them will be back at work before you know it. With no recollection of any of this nasty business. Couldn't have done this without you. Great work, really. I hope someone's going to look into Yeah, we need to find out what exactly I'm went sure wrong. I'm sure the SRB will do a thorough analysis. Incidents like this don't reflect well on anyone. You know what I mean? I'll be heading back now. Guess I'll see you around. Institute, this is Dr. Mosley. We've got things wrapped up here. Commence relay back home. Beautiful. And that's our level up. Also, yay. All right, so if I could crouch, I would. Anyway, time to go tell her parents. Oh, but before I do, before I do, really need to hope. I might have a quick look around, see if I can find any more bottles. Yeah, I might have a quick check. Beakers, microscopes. Hmm. Nothing there. Nope. Nope. All right. And I think that's about it. Yeah, there's that locker. And that's it. All right. No, no, all right, we're definitely all cleaned out. So, we found one extra Nuka Cola bottle, and that makes it. That makes this worth it.
I, I mean, we could still do helping out the uh, people of Far Harbor. Not that there's really much of a reason to do so. I mean, they'll they'll work things out in their own time. All right, so we go down. Yeah, that's the water purifiers for Far Harbor, I believe. And that's Oh, Beaver Creek lanes, but not that relevant. Alright, I am really, really, really hoping that dog meat has decided to turn up at Bar Harbor. By the way. Yeah, it's 47 and that's 49. So we go gun nut. Science. Also, I better eat if I'm hungry. Aid. That. Alright, let's go. Alright, we'll follow the land bridge over to uh, Longfellow's cabin. Boy, come on, boy. It's time to go. Yay! Everything is right. Okay. I I just like I just like having dog meat around. It doesn't matter if he's like, as a companion, he's not the greatest. He's not, he can't wear power armor. He's only got bite attacks. Some of his best traits require manual control and you have to invest perk points into them. But dog meat is dog meat. Why would I not want to have dog meat on hand? Anyway, you guys. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. But we have nothing else to do here. Let's go back to the Commonwealth. I'm so glad to be out of the fog area. So, what's after this? It's Vault 88. Now, the thing that with the Vault 88 is I'm going to have to try and explore the whole Vault 88. Which in itself is fairly straightforward apparently, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of, uh, you know, 
disassembling and base building that we have to do. Yeah, but I, I'll be curious. I've, you know, exploring the full area. Either way, knock knock. My daughter is human. She's not a synth. Mr. Nakano, I have bad news. Kasumi, she she didn't make it. What? I heard you to find her, to bring her back safely. What happened? What did they do to my little girl? Those synths she ran away to find are the reason your daughter is dead. You were right to be worried, Kenji. It's everything I was afraid of. They lured her away, and now she's gone. Yeah, it was the synth's fault. She died over all this nonsense about being a synth. Tell me it wasn't true. Tell me she was still my daughter. Uh, she was human. She was human. You have my word. <sighs> Thank you. If you'll excuse me, my wife and I need some time alone. And done. My baby is dead. Oh, God. By the way, where's the cat? Why are they still essential? That's really awkward. I don't know why they are flagged as essential. <sighs> like, unless they have to be alive in order for the boat trigger to work. Maybe that's what it is. They have to be alive for the boat trigger to work to send you to Far Harbor. Okay, now that that's all done, I am going to update the... Sorry, I apologize. Probably should have not done that in the middle of the teleport animation. Let me try again. Here we are. Completed. All right. Now, Adam Benet. Oh, Alan Benet. From what I hear, that rogue sent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Okay, so Alan Benet is upstairs asleep. Yep. Watch out around here. If they catch you having fun, they make you do boring science. Alan? I'm the one who filled Liam's head with silly, idealistic notions about synths. Now I'll never see him again. Those feral ghouls won't be a problem anymore. Splendid. And you hardly seem the worse for wear. Remarkable. Alan? Father said that you were a soldier. You must have been a good one. I won my share of medals. I don't doubt it. Not even a bit. Alan? Thanks to you. You have no, many, no idea how many times I died. The surface. Of course, there are feral ghouls hiding all over the Commonwealth. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we have to deal with them again. If you're willing to undertake another extermination, come and see me. I can always use the help. Alright. So I'm going to go to Hangman's Alley. So... I want to have a look at what I need to get the the level 4 uh, capacitor that I want to get. I think it's the overcharge capacitor for the plasma rifle. Or the plasma gun. And I also want to see what I need for the uh, the tri-barrel on the minigun.
Yeah, all right. Tada! What's our quest? So we tune into the Vault 88 radio. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol VT76. This signal will repeat. All right, turn that off. What the hell was that? Yeah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. You didn't hear anything. Didn't see anything. Either way. Alright. So, experiment. 18A. I need more aluminum. Easy enough to get. I have everything else, including gold. I just need more aluminum, which should be possible this from the Institute. The bustling metropolis before the bombs fell. Now, as for Ashmaker, I need more aluminum and more screws. So we are going to be looking. Would you like me to go with you? Hold on. So let's do another raid on the Institute for all the aluminum that we can get our hands on. Now, where would be a good amount of aluminum? Again, we might try SRB, so synth retention. Operating at fog. A successful mission on all counts, sir. Institute pistols. Folders. Like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Nice huh. work bringing that rogue synth back. All right, nothing there. Hmm, where else? Uh, maybe some of the older areas. Report, sir. Or again, running through. Ah, we can't open that. Yep, we can't open that, so don't worry about it. Speaking of... Why couldn't you have given me the notification a little earlier? Thank you. Alright, we'll check advanced systems again. Sorry, just a moment. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what we have. Pistols. I wish I knew my mom. He died when I was just a baby, right? That, that makes me sad. Hi, Sean. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're above ground, can you look for something? I want to try building some new stuff. I'd like to have an old microscope. You know, to use for parts. I want to try and make something. For you. Sure yeah, thing, sure thing. Sure. You're after a microscope. Alright, I think the 
junk. Yeah, the spanners and the tweezers are all aluminum, so again. Now, next couple of areas. Yeah, just sorry. Having to sort out notifications on something else. Ay, ay, ay. Why is everyone sending me messages now? Alright, I'll grab the cauterizers and all of that and all of this and all of this and all of these. And a high powered microscope. Oh, too heavy. Done. And we have even more things if we need them. So we'll start things off with the we'll start things off with the overcharge capacitor. And because we don't need to buy extra screws for that one. And then we'll have to hit up Diamond City and try to find whatever we can that has screws in it. Plus, whatever else we need for aluminum, we know where we can get that in the Institute. That one's the easy one of all things. Now, I just need to remind myself how I'm going for ammo. Hearing shit. Yeah, I kind of... Uh, maybe, you know, maybe someone in Diamond City is also selling a ripper. Just so I can avoid going to West Everett Estates. Where's my junk? I want to get back the... Pre-war money. All of the pre-war money. Ada? No. So. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do here. We don't want the sniper barrel. We should have more than enough aluminum for this. Now, and for ash maker, so we need six screws and two aluminum. Actually, I'll be back later. Understood. Alright. What's our ammo capacity? Oh, it's nice having 30 shots. It doesn't seem like a lot, but the damage boost plus the extra ammo is really, really helpful. Pick those up. They can sell. Alright. No one's respawned there. That's always good to have.
What? You got a staring problem? Buddy, I'm a stare. What you gonna do about it? Hi. You been to Good Neighbor? Friggin' hold. Ghouls and chemheads all over. All right. I love that. There's a little institute flag up here as well. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Quest. We sell everything. Skip packs, ammunition, outerwear, dinnerware. Let's see what you have. Anything and everything. All right. Big one. Screws. What do you have? I need six of them. Oh, and I'll take any bottles that I see as well. So we've got two there. I'll take the microscope. That's for Sean. And we can get another two screws from that. As for my paying for everything. There we go. Saw you poking around that abandoned house. I'm going to assume McDonough gave you permission and I'm leave it at that. Surplus. Open 24 hours. All right, we'll check around again at Nick Valentine's place. I wonder if they'll be curious as well to have an update on the Kano situation. Couple of sources saying that you were the one leading the Institute attack on the Pridwin. So, you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? What? I figured you'd be happy seeing your old friends come out on top. I guess I'll add it to the growing list of things you've got wrong. Taking down the Brotherhood, the Railroad, all those lives lost. For what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? I want to live in a world with a future, Nick. And the Institute? That's humanity's future now. Thanks to you. You know, since the first time we met, I'd always got the sense that you were going to change this place. I just never expected it'd be like this. Yep, well, you're going to have to deal with it, Nick. Don't worry. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor, but she didn't make it. That's terrible. I wish I could say that was rare for these kinds of cases, but we're almost always giving people bad news. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better... I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Don't worry. Just keeping you on your toes. Nick. I'm very much responsible for what happened in Far Harbor. Don't worry. I'm gonna take that bottle. You don't Might need it. I want to pick up Earl's key from Vadim Bobrov. He runs the dugout in. I'm still looking for screws, though. I can lug for you. Heads up. Yeah, dog meat. I want you to hold the microscope if you can. That way, I don't 
put it into my pile of items. Thank you. All right. We're still short on like a screw. My friends say outside is smell, but you don't smell at all. Nah. I'm supposed to talk to people I don't know. I'm half tempted to take the toaster. I'm gonna be honest. Or the desk fan, or something. I don't think there's anything here in the All Faiths Chapel. Yeah, you guys are busy praying. Don't mind me. Might have one more quick check around Piper's place. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's really awkward that the stuff on the outside is counted as stealing, but the stuff on the inside doesn't. When it's start. there's anything I can do to lighten the load or you know if you need anything proofread you know you got nothing else here so the Institute's won <laughs> rumor going around is that it's all thanks to you I suppose you're proud of yourself it may not be the Commonwealth's most thumbed newspaper but I'd call it a success sure oh you're a riot you know what this means, right? It means people getting snatched in the night. Neighbors turning on each other. And no one left to stop them. Do you really think that's what the Commonwealth needs? I don't care what the Commonwealth needs. The Institute is humanity's future now. I did what's right for them. I really hope you don't believe that. Oh no, trust me, I do. Because I'm in charge. Because world you've created? I'm not sure what kind of chance it's got. No, no, no. I'm very happy with my choice here. Very happy with it. And also, you have... That's in better shape than I expected. Yeah, I, I know it's in better shape than expected. I'm taking it. All right. Yeah, again, all the people saying, oh, it's going to result in a really bad outcome for the for the Commonwealth. It's like, you're going to have to put things in perspective here. A, if anyone else but the Institute wins, guess what? Part of Boston becomes this irradiated hellhole that will create problems for future generations well beyond any of our lifetimes. B... Institute technology is helpful for the production of other things. Water. Uh, water uh, props. We're starting to see that at Warwick. Sources of power. Also, guess what? You don't have to fear a boogeyman because you know it's real. And the Institute doesn't really care because... It's got everything that it sort of needs at the moment. So you don't have to worry about the Institute trying to do weird things with your lives because you're not that important in the grand scheme of things. Self-diagnostic complete. 
All right. Heads up. Dog meat. Give me everything you're holding. Thank you. And we're going to go back to the Institute. So, where's our little hidey hole room? That's not the one. I think it is... No, not that one. Scanning. Subject yeah, so it must be this little hidey hole room because it's next to advanced systems. Yes, it is. This one. Why am I caring too much? You know what? There you go. Alrighty. Sean. I've got you a microscope. What's new, kid? All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. Did you find what I needed? There you go. Yep, got it right here. Great, that's it. I promise I'll do something cool with it. And look what I made earlier. It's for you. A laser rifle. Unlimited ammo capacity. Maybe if you don't need it, you could sell it to someone else. Thanks again, Dad. I mean it. Hold on. I'm going to have to... No, no, we're going to keep this one. All right. Where is our little store? That's the medical bay. Here. No, that's your resting zone. Requisition clearance granted. How may I help you? I've got a few minutes to browse. All right, so we sell our uh, ammo that we've picked up. And is there anything else we might be able to sell? We're going to hold on to these two. And we'll clear out the High Confessor's clothing. Um, actually, I'll pick up all the plasma cartridges. Alright, now we should be able to make a tri-barrel. So, this leaves us in a pretty good position, actually. Although, this does represent the effective cap of our damage. Like, we have... Aside from two perks, and then maybe going... Finding a Ripper on someone, and getting some points in... Getting some points in big leagues, which... I guess is something... We, we kind of do want a Ripper anyway for Nuka World. 
but it's like it's a uh, it's nice we, we will want the ripper for nuclear world but nuclear world is going to be absolutely like the hardest part for sure All right, try barrel. Yeah, we don't need the shredder. And there's no reason to have the... You know what? Why not? Let's just put a little side on the thing. You know what, if I find two screws out in the wilderness, I'll put a little silly reflex sight on this thing. My onboard functions are operating at full capacity. Just so it fits in with the rest of everything else. Yeah, you want, if we find a couple more screws, we will. Why not? So, might as well look for like four screws in total. Now we store that. And the 44 and the Wazer. There we are. Here we are. Progress is made. We've survived another night. A triumph, I think. Alright, so let's make our way over to Vault 88, which we've been there before on the No Merchants YOLO challenge. Quincy Quarries, after all. Now, the really awkward part is going to be if we don't ha have anything that we need to build at uh, Vault 88. Now, for me right now, Vault 88 is considered complete with two things. Number one is, unlike uh, Far Harbor, we do want to actually explore all of Vault 88. So that is unlocking all of the areas of Vault 88. Number two is just effectively building Vault 88 in a way that fits with how an Institute scientist might want to do Vault 88. So we're actually going to go like all evil choices. minigun is still terrible and I would still rather have a wounding minigun than a flaming minigun but I'll take what I have because it's kind of awful either way also that would have been the point to fire a missile Come on, loading zones, please. So Alright. We're officially at 160 deaths. Where should we go next? Uh, Ada, we're not going anywhere. Like go no! Let me out! I'm... Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Okay. Alright. Let's make our way nice and easy over to Quincy Quarries. I wonder what the random event will be this time. If it's still Rust Devils, then... We're ready this time, but... If it's something else, we might be able to get away with the shotgun or even the minigun. Considering I have 2,500 rounds for the minigun. But what I would give for, like, a wounding minigun. Like, no joke. Wounding or explosive minigun. What are we dealing with? Legendary Rust Devil. Oh, that's awful. What do we have here? Oh, and the repair kit. Take that. Now. There was, unfortunately, you. Alrighty, what do we have? Yeah, because we make our way sort of south-ish. Ah, oh, that's just a routed stack. It's fine, it's fine. Now we skip past here because this is where we have like all sorts of silliness. And then we have more silliness up there. That's the Watcher. <laughs> 
Now, who else is around here? There's noises. I saw something. Oh, it's just scavengers. Now, I don't think there'd be anything else back in here for in terms of like screws or other bits and pieces. It doesn't look like it. All right. Well, in that case, let's move on. Now, have the raiders that are in the little camp over here, have they respawned? No, they have not, but you have a toaster. And I'll take the Nuka-Cola bottles, actually. The toaster is definitely the most useful thing. So the toaster at least gives me a screw. One screw or two screw? I think it's one. Two, actually. No, it actually doesn't even give me any screws. Bro, it's useless. Checkpoint. <laughs> Up there. What's going on? Come on, doggy meat. Oh. I think I got hit by an explosion. But that wouldn't have made sense. Unless I got quick scoped by a gauze rifle. So I must have gotten quick scoped by a gauze rifle. I mean, the reason I say it might, it shouldn't have been an explosion is that I do have crazy explosion defense. All right. Would you like me to go in? No, no, Ada, we're good, we're good. So, back on the path over to Vault 88, still looking for four screws so we can strap random silly sights on everything. Even though I honestly don't think it does anything, but it looks, it looks every, a little bit neater. You should get inside the city. Uh, no, we don't need to go inside the city, we're good. Alright, so based on everything that's happened so far, we are probably looking at Frost Devils up here. I'll be surprised if it changes out of the blue, but it could have given the timing.
nothing in the Pulaski. Oh! Hello, hello! Glowing Deathclaw. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's rumble. Done. Alright, well it did change. Yeah, it must be the time frame. Now if I get another message saying, hey, help defend the checkpoint, and it's railroad agents, well, I might have to try the plasma actually. I think maybe the plasma gun's a bit better against the the railroad armor. So now we go past here and we'll see what has changed in our silly little building, if anything. Last time it was scavengers versus robots, this time, This time it's Absalom. Well, that's never First time for everything, buddy. Yeah, if you run into Absalom pretty early, he'll like drop you pretty fast because he's just far beefier than you. But if you do happen to take him out, grab his full combat armor set, that's alright. Like, combat armor at a stage where you've only typically got raider or metal armor, yeah, you would go for that. And then if, for example, you put it under, say, or over the top of, say, um, not so much your vault suit, but if you wanted to put it, like, over the top of brotherhood stuff, And besides the the um the combat armor you can I don't know I guess early early game it, it's like how you gonna put the mods on it which is another valid question because leather armor early on you can put like shadowed on it quite easily the metal armor it gives you physical defense so it's eh you know fair enough fair enough. Then again, early game running around with power armor is definitely a lot more sturdy. Except against explosions, but that's going to be the case. Early game explosions are the worst thing. It's not until you... Oh, yeah, definitely looking like... Might have to start trying to put the... Uh... Better heal, better heal. Get up. Get up. Oh, he hit me right on that last shot, and I'm getting bounced like that. Alright, better update the death counter again.
All right, let me just get out of here first before I update the counter. All right, there we go. You know what? If I happen to make it to... If I happen to ever make it to Vault 88, I'm going to be happy with that. Admittedly, the first thing I have to do in Vault 88 is clear the place out of ghouls. So the shotgun's going to be helpful for that. Alright. Let's try this. This is what... Attempt at number four, actually. First one died to the Rust Devils. Second time... And third time, both died to the railroad. Because he mutated. Okay, attempt number four. Died to Rust Devils. You know, it's one of those things... Um, Uh, okay, so if you do enough damage to an enemy, they should die, theoretically, without uh, mutating. So if you do enough damage to a legendary enemy, they should die without mutating. I think the problem with the missile was that I might have accidentally hit the guy himself with the missile. So that is the physical damage of the missile before the explosion occurred. It's a theory, but it's the most logical explanation. Because if I hit him with the physical missile before the explosion, then he takes a little bit of damage. The, da the missile then can't kill, and so he mutates. That, or when I hit him with the... When I hit the group with the first missile, he took damage from the explosion, which meant uh, he would mutate on the next uh, hitting zero. See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. Oh, oh, I should. Before I do anything. Before I do anything. I almost forgot. I want to get the missiles from Hubris Comics. Let's absolutely go to Hubris Comics and get those missiles. Why not? So, I'm thinking they might be... I don't know if the drone will be on the inside. So, that I don't know if the iBot's going to be on the inside of Hubris Comics. We've gone too far. Sorry, getting a little distracted here. We've got to go this way. Defending Diamond City is nothing. Me, my boys, the wall. And... Yeah, so I don't know if the... Tr the Eyebot's going to be on the inside. Whatever they're fighting, I don't want to deal with it. Have a quick check. Free war money. Grab the cigarette carton. It's got a little bit of value to it. If the iBot's not on the inside, it could be on the roof, but given the marker's not got a... 
yeah, the market doesn't have a a number on it to say, hey. Oh, hold on. Unless the mark is pointing to the door. I think it is. We're gonna have to go inside. Let's use the chance to look for some screws. Like the toy car. And the antique globe. I think the toy truck as well has some. Yeah, they all have one each. Plus, I'll take these empty bottles. Hmm. Not much in the storeroom, I'm going to be honest. Oh, but I can open that up. Yeah, I can't open that up, but then again, that's only Grognak's axe. So it doesn't matter too much. Yes. Now, next floor up. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Got absolutely swarmed. Oh, come on. Has everyone calmed down now? Oh, can't open that up. We've all calm down. Oh no, dog meat, what are you doing? Hold on. Yeah. 
And I am... Fatigued. You know what? Instead of using antibiotics... Actually, you know what? I'll just use the antibiotics. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna need you, Dogmeat, to hold some of these heavy things for me, please. Like all of that. Okay, perfect, perfect. There we are. Pencil fan. It's a lot of missiles. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back for the missiles. Now, other things, where are they? Bobby Pin. Grab a costume. Excellent. Grab the machine gun prop. And what else? Oh, the Grognak costume. Might as well. And now that this is cleared out, we're going to grab the missiles. Hubris Comics Roof, and it's just a straight run back to Hangman's Alley. And that's been pretty good. Oh, I have to admit, the iBot, I did not expect to get that many missiles. That is, that's a lot of missiles. That will keep me going for a good while yet. I might be able to start running around with like six missiles at a time.
Uh, uh dogmate, not interested in the enemy. Just gonna run. Oh, dogmate, where are you? Let's do this properly. Your dog meat must have stepped off the building. I know that there's um okay, so I've used the mod in the past, just when I'm running around with companions. All the mod does is it removes fall damage from companions. And it's such a small thing, but it's so so helpful. Because it turns out, if you take a human companion that is, like, not dance. So if they're not paladin dance and you put them into power armor, they can still take fall damage from falling off tall heights. Which is really, really awkward. It's like... They're in power armor. Why do they not... Uh, enemies do not... Enemies in power armor do not take fall damage. From... Yeah, enemies in power armor do not take fall damage from heights. You in power armor do not take fall damage from heights. Why do your companions sometimes take fall damage from heights? Or all the time take fall damage from heights? Alright, and then we store our aid, the grognak, the alright. Alright, again, junk. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have a rat away. That's all the rats. Now, let's put some silly sights on everything. Again, Are you ready to depart? Now, experiment 18A. We will put a... Reflex sight. Justice. We will put a... Reflex sight. Knuckles, we will put a you reflex right. site. Oh, I Your wish. Yeah, hold on. I'm crafting Ada. Alright. I hope I didn't offend you. 
No, Ada, I'm in my inventory. Just crafting weapons. Actually, I'll be back. Understood. You know what? Let's just save there. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Ada, Are please you... stop asking. Gonna wait over here. Hey. Hold on. I'm carrying too many missiles. That's why. Six missiles, and that leaves eighteen. Beautiful. So we go three and three. All right. I want to make another quick stop at Diamond City. Looking for more shotgun ammo. Nothing to see here. Yeah, I'll try again for Vault 88 now. I'm thinking I might just go via the, um... The path that would lead to the checkpoint anyway. Here are the different raider groups are carved. Which is... Oh, I don't want to run out that far. I still, yeah, maybe running when past Big John like Salvage would be the best way to go. Alright, so shotgun ammo. And maybe a ripper. I I don't know. Maybe. Theory theoretical. Arturo. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you Hey Arturo. We can talk about guns. Or maybe you want to Uh-huh. Sure. Let's take a look. Self defense. Alright, weapons. What do you have? No, no ripper. We'll sell off our random bits of ammo as well. Which helps. And the lobby pins, get those out. And there we are. Moira. Moira. I'll never get your name no right. Argument. I'm going to call you Mina. Sure. Let's, Let's see Here's what you got. got. Please tell me you have a ripper. Weapons. No ripper. Dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. New hey, Mo. Uh, need a swatter with a little more stopping? Let's see what you got. Yeah, mate. Eat. Uh-huh. No, nah, you don't have one. So the synths are just walking among us now. Guess we better get used to it. All right, there we go. All right, um, just trying to think. I might give this, this is be the last attempt for tonight to get to Vault 88. Vault 88. If I can get to Vault 88, and then I can clear out the inside, then I'll wrap things up there. If I 
die on route, then I'll wrap things up there. Just so I don't sort of, you know, run things too far over the time frame. Oh, what's that? Brad Scorpion versus Stingwings. I think the Stingwings usually have this. Oh no, in this case. Oh, that's why. keep to my word. Let's wrap things up there. I did not expect to get rocked by a legendary albino Brad Scorpion. No wonder why the Stingwings didn't win. And the really awkward part is, because the Stingwings had done damage, the missile would have not had its bonus effect. Ugh. And I accidentally butterfingered over to the, um, to the minigun. Got pretty close, but no, the claws got me. All right, I'm gonna update the death counter and then wrap things up there. So, with so with Cyberpunk 2077 completed, I did say I'd be introducing some new games into the roster. I'm in the process of working out which game I want on which slot because I am gonna have. I am still looking at having a casual game as a thing on a Tuesday and then something a little bit more first timey on a first timey on a Friday. So I've got a choice of two games for the Friday. I decided I'm not gonna rush into one of the ones that I was thinking about straight away. I've got one of two titles that I'd like to go into, maybe. So I'm working through that. And then as for Tuesday. I think I have something in mind for Tuesday. Um, I just need to put things together as in I actually need to try and maybe buy it. I don't know. I'll work it out. Either way, I'll wrap things up here. If you've been watching along or you're watching after the fact, as always, I'd like to thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day.